Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I would really appreciate it. All right, so for today's video, we are getting ourselves ready to head down to my mother's. Uh, if you keep up with the channel, you would know my mother is a ceramicist and all of the things I glaze, uh, she creates. So she throws on a wheel that she has at home and then she also has a kiln there where she does all the firing for our pieces. And I've been focused on the glazing aspect since as an artist, I do murals, I do paintings, and I don't always have the time to throw. I think the last time I threw was over four years ago now. So it has been a very long time. And I said to my mom, would you teach me? Would you teach me how to properly throw ceramics and just start building up that knowledge? And she agreed. So I am getting myself ready and I'm going to go down and stay with her um, for the next few days. And we're gonna focus on throwing on the wheel and then also I wanna make some more ceramic earrings since my shop sold out last time. So I would say actually that's probably the last time I worked with clay was doing my ceramic earrings cause I was rolling the slab and you know, punching that out and firing that, glazing that. So I have involvement in ceramics, but for the most part, my mom does all the throwing for the larger vessels. So I wanna make sure that I learn from her and hopefully you guys will learn something too. So. Let's go. All right, we are in my mom's studio, which is in her basement. You guys might remember the kiln if you saw some of our holiday videos when we were making ceramics. It's a scut. On this side is, she keeps her materials here, a table for wedging clay, and this is the infamous wheel that I will be trying out, plus <laughs> towel stool. Here's all of her tools here she uses, so even more clay. There you go. She has a bucket filled with water and some sponges and then a few other mark making tools i wonder if this is on if I push nope it's not on yet so anywho mom's just grabbing a few more things and we're gonna get started with the basics centering clay
Okay, my mom just showed me how to do this. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared. I've never used your wheel before. Not quite. That's okay. You can move it. So I start by wet. Thing wheel. That's it. pressure in the bottom. Not too much. <laughs> That's too much. like that like this yeah try and just lift it with least pressure as you can <laughs> i'll bring this over <laughs> just lift it up <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> well done <laughs> well done there you go The first thing I made, a dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, that's trial one done. We did a bit more that I didn't videotape on camera, but we're gonna start tomorrow with a fresh eye. See you then. All right, day two, back at the wheel. Got some tools here. Let's see, the one thing I managed to make that was decent yesterday, this little bowl. <laughs>
So we were all cleaned up and had some lunch and took Zelda for her walk. We had throwing this morning, which went fine. Um, it's so funny, I think back to my time in Kyoto and how, I don't know, the guy must have helped me out more than I thought, but you know, I made the cup fairly easily, I felt. And this time even, the first thing I threw, I got a bowl off fine. Then everything after that, I just seemed to, I don't know, it didn't quite work out. But um, I did make a spoon rest for mom since hers broke last night while we were making dinner. Um, and now we are going to roll out some clay and make some more jewelry. Uh, the other exciting thing that happened was after we were done downstairs, I was checking my email and ends out um, I've been awarded a New Jersey Council on the Arts uh, craft fellowship. So that means that I have a grant going towards making ceramics this year. So felt uh, funnily appropriate to get that while I was here doing this because I had applied for this sometime last year, months ago. I actually kind of forgot that I had applied. Um, but either way, I'm very pleased and very happy. And yeah, that will help, helps the motivation. <laughs> Anywho, we are going to get rolling and make some jewelry. Oof, this is <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky clay. <laughs> Sounds like maybe I can do it quickly enough. Hi friends, I am in the car and I'm heading to Michael's because uh, while that wet clay was drying, we took out our cutter shapes and realized that some of them were left at my studio. And so I'm going to go to Michael's and buy some more of those same shapes that we can leave here. Let's go. So that was easy to pick these up, but wine and spirits right next door. I think we deserve a little champagne to celebrate getting that grant because it's a big deal. Just getting this one. It's a celebration. You gotta. Okay, I got the champers. I got the clay cutters. You're going. Hop! I tried it and yeah, it didn't quite work. Slowly coming out. <gasps> I see it. Oh, Isn't it. No, just use a sponge. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for now. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Congratulations. Good morning. 
so we can clearly see. We are heading downstairs for day three and mom just said I have to go trim a bowl. So we're gonna go do that first. Can I do the honors? done with another set of earrings so these will be bisque fired this weekend and I'll work on glazing it probably I don't know maybe in two weeks or so but we have plenty of earrings lots of this slab style that people were requesting so hopefully a good amount of those turn out that's it Good morning friends, it's day four now. And yeah, last night we just finished up the jewelry here. Um, let me show you. So yeah, this slab style was the most popular. So we made quite a few more of those and got all the metal pieces in. So they should be good to go into the bisque. You don't need to hang them on the chuck since it's just a bisque fire. You hang them when there's glaze on both sides. If I glazed one side, we would be able to lay them flat, but you know me, I have to do both. The other interesting thing is, see the wood's warped? <laughs> Not this one as much, but this one has, so I guess there was more moisture in that clay than what I thought. Speaking of which, 
my hands are dry covering them in lotion. So that's something else to keep in mind when you're working with clay. It'll really dry out your skin. Anywho, I'm gonna get back into it today. Look at my wonky triangle bowl. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I have to trim my spoon rest, which is this one. Okay, this is what we've made, which is not too bad. We have what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things? We made ten things. We made ten things, which you could probably make ten things in one sitting, <laughs> but it took me four days. <laughs> but not bad, yeah. not bad. <laughs> All right, friends, that is it. I'm going to be heading back to my place, but I'll probably be back in another two weeks to do this all over again. But I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more art content, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.